Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to unbox Samsung Galaxy A34 5G phone. Here I am going to remove the cellophane cover. When you buy a phone, you have to be careful whether this sticker is removed or not. This sticker says that if this sticker is broken, do not accept the phone. In this section of the box, you get everything including charging cable, warranty card, small manual and SIM tray removal kit. Here you are, this is my new Samsung Galaxy A34 5G phone. Here is the power button and volume up and down keys. This is the SIM tray. You can take the SIM tray out by using the small tool given. Here is the charging port and speaker. This is the power adapter I got and it's a 25 watt Samsung charger. Let's remove the cover and see. It's a Type-C charger and it's having a fuse also built in. Let's put the phone to charge like this. After one and a half hours time, it charges to 100% and now I am going to switch on the phone to do the initial settings.
here you need to select your language and I keep it as it is for English. Then you have to agree to all of them. In this menu, I selected the Galaxy or Android device button as I am going to connect my other device to copy my contacts and other things later. As I am not going to connect my other device right now, I am going to skip this. Now it's asking the password to connect to my Wi-Fi. I am going to skip that also. I will put the Wi-Fi password lately. Now I am going to accept the Google services policy by clicking the agree sign. Now it's asking to set up passwords for face recognition, fingerprint protection, pattern unlock, pin number or any other password. I skip this section also for me to create a good password later. It's asking to get recommended apps. Now it's asking to set up find your lost pawn even if it is offline. I skip that also for this time. In this section you can set up Samsung Cloud, Bixby, Galaxy Teams, Find My Mobile, Samsung Pass, Galaxy Store and Secure Folder by sign in to the Samsung account. Now I have to agree to the Samsung services. Finally, you have to choose your display preferences. There are two options, light display or dark display. Congratulations, you are all set now. You can finish it by pressing the finish button. As you can see, it's a good phone with the high resolution screen. Here you can see it's having a good picture quality camera other than the previous versions. Now I insert the back cover. I will make a separate video on how to fix tempered glass to this phone. Subscribe to my channel now and press the bell icon for future notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.